First morning here in Alberta up at Keg Country Outfitters. We'll do a little spot and stalk, see what we can do. Mornings are typically a little slower, but still some bears out and about. A lot of geese working the area this morning. Some sandhill cranes as well. We're gonna get at them. For the first afternoon y'all right back where we were this morning hopefully we'll see that big bear again it's a little warm and we do have a steady breeze we're gonna see what happens Day two, or day one rather, coming to a close. Pretty good hunt, a little warm this evening. We did make a couple of good close stalks, but nothing big enough. Hopefully uh, cool off in the morning and have more bears moving. Beautiful up here though. Sandhill cranes, geese. We've seen mule deer bucks, white tail bucks, and tons of bears. Well, we have reached the end of day two, hunt two in the evening. We saw, I don't know, maybe five or six bears this evening. A really nice sow. Had a huge white spot on her chest, but she had a chocolate colored cub with her. It's really cool to see, um, but obviously not a bear we could shoot. So uh, we kept the hunt up and ran into a few more bears. Had one come by us at about seven yards, but too small again to shoot. So we'll give it another shot in the morning. Right. 
you tell me. Nice, nice shot. He'll be, he'll be six, over six. End of evening three, y'all. Um, you can see that beautiful sunset in the background. Really, really eventful evening. We ended up seeing, I believe, four really nice shooters, probably seven foot or a little over. Um, unfortunately, things did not turn out quite like we had hoped on the one that I did shoot. Um, shot placement was great based on the video. Uh, just one of those fluke what the heck moments. Um, broadhead actually snapped off right at the ferrule, so I, I really don't know. Bow shooting tons of speed, pushing, uh, I think we're right around 335 or so. 125 grain broadhead should have done the trick right on the uh, right on the spot, but sometimes that happens. We'll get after them in the morning. Good morning of day four. Yesterday was super eventful. Um, didn't quite turn out like we had hoped, but we had a really good hunt. Got on uh, a couple of good bears and uh, hoping to do the same thing again today. We're switching up fields, so been seeing a lot of big bears in that other field. And uh, cool thing, got to see Northern Lights last night. Absolutely amazing, y'all, seriously. Um, hopefully I have some pictures of it we can put in here, but wish us luck this morning. Say a prayer for us, stay safe and have a good hunt. Let's see what we can do, get a bear on the ground.
Day four afternoon hunt, heading to the big field where they've been seeing all the bears late in the afternoon. Hunter there this morning, had some really good encounters, got close. Um, saw bears, got some chewed up ears, probably a good fighter, so hopefully he's gonna be a good one. We're gonna try to go after him this afternoon. Yeah, that's fine. Been a blast, my man. Oh, we'll go check a couple other fields here on the way back. All right. Well, I have certainly enjoyed this week. Yeah. It has been awesome. Oh, that was awesome. Glad you made it. Yes, sir. Last day. Just give you a little overview of what camp looks like here. We got the freezer unit, and the uh, closest building there is the cook shack and kind of hangout place. And then we've got the living quarters there, the center hall, and rooms down each side. Nice. Laundry room, showers, plenty of bathrooms. Um, unfortunately, it has come to an end. So we got to pack everything up after we have breakfast, get ready to head back. I got seven and a half, eight hour drive uh, back to Edmonton. So not going to be able to hunt this evening just based on when the flight uh, leaves at six in the morning. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense. So awesome time here at Keg Country Outfitters. Adrian, the owner and my guide for the week was just incredible. Really knows his stuff. Um, had a good time with these guys. Would highly, highly recommend coming up here. We saw multiple bears every hunt um, except for one. And we still saw bears on that, or saw a bear on that hunt. Um, but other than that, we were seeing multiple bears per hunt, not just per day. So, you know, lots of days or lots of hunts seeing eight, 10 bears. And a lot of times we were really close. Uh, just bears were a little bit small. Um, but seeing plenty of good shooters as well. So they're not big for no reason. Um, but again, highly recommend these guys. Great time up here in Northern Alberta. Weather was beautiful. Saw plenty of good sights, beautiful sunrises. Lord blessed us this week for sure with a good time. So uh, hopefully you guys can maybe check these, these guys up at uh, Keg Country Outfitters and get up here and get you a bear.